Hello my handsome and sexy dirty bastards, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna do a review about Yves Saint Laurent L'Homme Eau de Parfum, the new release. So this fragrance has been sent to me by Parfum Dreams and I also got a discount code for you guys, not especially for this fragrance, but on their whole website. So for the people in the UK, I got Curly 10 UK for a 10% discount. And for the people in Germany, I got Curly 10 for a 10 euro off of your order. Now that Parfum Dreams have sent this fragrance to me, doesn't mean that I'm not gonna be honest or whatsoever, because that's not the point of doing a review. So just so you know. All right guys, now grab yourselves a cup of coffee and put your balls in a good position and let's get into it okay let's see what Yves Saint Laurent Lom got for us the eau de parfum version all right this is how the bottle looks nothing not, not too special all right, so this is how the bottle looks. It looks nice and clean. Same as the older bottle, only the juice is really different. Really different. All right, so let's see how the new Lum Eau de Parfum smells. We're gonna do my first impressions. I haven't smelled this fragrance. And we're gonna spray on the tits of Madonna. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see what I think of it. I haven't looked up the notes. And I'm also gonna compare it to the older one. I'm gonna spray that one on the other arm in a sec. Hmm. No, no. I smell something uh, very nice. But I also I really like the eau de toilette. Hmm. Nice. Really nice. It is fresh. Clean. A little bit watery. I also smell some watery notes in there. Woody, clean, watery, fruity. It resembles the eau de toilette also. But this one smells a little bit sweeter. Yeah. I think I smell cinnamon in there. Cinnamon or a boozy note in a new one. Okay, so we're gonna spray the eau de toilette on my other arm. And we're gonna see if they are comparable or not. So if you would let me smell the eau de parfum blind, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't think it was a uh, lum. But I do smell the similarities. Oh, I need to spray the eau de toilette a little bit more. Because if you if you smell the eau de parfum and then you go to the eau de toilette, you hardly can smell the eau de toilette. Okay, first the eau de toilette. Yeah, this has that famous ginger note in it. It's very fresh, clean and spicy and very easy to wear. A little bit sweet. I would also say that you can wear the eau de toilette in the summer. Although some people say you cannot. I think you can. <sighs> Very nice, very good. Such an easy to like men's fragrance. If you're starting out with fragrances, like everybody is going to like that one. Okay, Eau de Parfum. Yeah, the Eau de Parfum is, is much sweeter. It is still fresh. It is still fresh. It has, that same, it has that same kind of a vibe. But if you compare them, then you really smell that the Eau de Parfum is much sweeter. Yeah, and it has that cinnamon boozy kind of a vibe in it. I really like it. Oh yeah, I really like it a lot. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna let it dry down on my skin, both of them, come back with you guys with a full review, with the notes, how they dry down, and everything that you need to know about this fragrance. So be right back in a sec. Sec. So be right back in a sec. Two hours later. All right guys, and I am back with the full review. Now, the Eau de Parfum is really stronger than the Eau de Toilette. But then, a tiny bit sweeter, but I like this one a lot. And in my opinion, this one smells much better than the Eau de Toilette. Because now that I smell them side by side, I smell something chemical in the Eau de Toilette. It's something chemical, bleach-ish kind of a smell that I don't get. In the Eau de Parfum one. I didn't smell it at first. But that, oh, but now that I compare them. I smell something that is a bit off in this fragrance. That I didn't smell before. But because comparing. This one is much better. So if you want to pick up a long version. Definitely, definitely, definitely go for the EDP. It also projects more than the Eau de Toilette. Because the whole time that a fragrance came to my nose. It was the Eau de Parfum version. But now let's look up the notes. And I'm going to tell you if I smell the notes 
that they have put up on Frank Rantica. Okay, so in the top you're gonna get bitter orange and bergamot. And I do get that, it's amazing. Middle notes you get lavender and geranium. Lavender I get, geranium not so much. And then the base notes you get oak, cognac, so booze, uh, vetiver and cedar. Okay, so the woodsy notes I get and I thought it was cinnamon or a boozy kind of a note and it is cognac, so I was also right on that one. But if, if they would say it's cinnamon, I would say, see, cinnamon. <laughs> so <laughs> just so you know. But uh, yeah, and I also get that. So <sighs> this stuff is really good. Now this is an amazing, fresh, woody, citrus, spicy kind of a fragrance. The whole mix is really good. And it's also so easy to wear, like you can literally wear this almost to anything. You can wear it at night, you can wear it at the day, you can wear it at winter. You can also wear it at the summer, not, not really in the high summer heat, because then this one will be a little bit too sweet for that. But on the colder summer days, you can also wear this one. So this is basically a fragrance for all year round. Now, as I've said, this is definitely an upgrade than the Eau de Toilette version. I would say never buy the Eau de Toilette version ever again. Only buy the Eau de Parfum. Yes, that's my statement. Boom. Bichus. Okay, now the projection I've already told you. I have it for two hours on my skin. And projection is really good. Longevity, I don't know. Michella of the future will tell you right now. I'm gonna do a voiceover of it. Miss Fresh has worn this one when she was with me. We went outside. The whole time it kept projecting off of her to my nose. And she even did sissy spray this time. She did like eight or ten sprays. So she didn't even spray much with it. And it projected really good to me. And the longevity of this fragrance is easy eight to ten hours. This one is amazing. Get it. Okay, thank you, Michella of the future. And if I would give my final rating of this fragrance is because it is so likable. I think this will give you massive compliments when girls or people are going to smell this one off of you. You can pretty much wear it all year round, easy to grab. It is a unique kind of fragrance. Other than the Lom line, nothing smells like this in my opinion. So I am going to give this a eight and a half. I really like fragrances that smell like this. So is this a fragrance that you need to have in your collection? Yes, if you don't have any of the Lom line, the Lom flankers, then definitely get this one. It is different, it will stand out a little bit in your Fragrance, not that it is the best, but it's just a really good fragrance and safe. It is a safe option. Eight and a half in my opinion. All right, guys, this was the fragrance video of today. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below which fragrance you want me to review next. And maybe I will do it and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.